British publications are now warning that people can die just by visiting some of Yellowstone's most popular sites. MTN's John Shear talked with the park's lead scientist to find out if that could be true. Here it is for the world to see. A dire warning from scientists about dangerous gases from volcanic features in Yellowstone. Gases that could kill you. Could it happen? When you're in sort of depressions, closed depressions, uh, and, and there's low winds to, to clean things out, that's when gases can accumulate. That would be a yes. But wait, don't go canceling any Yellowstone plans you have just yet. It's really nothing to worry about uh, in terms of these the, the big geyser basins. You know, no tourists have ever succumbed to this sort of thing. So where do these dire stories come from? And obviously in Yellowstone, we know they can be dangerous from these episodes where animals have unfortunately succumbed. More than 120 years ago, in 1897, a geologist found dead grizzly bears, elk, and other animals near some thermal features. Back in 1939, a road construction worker went down in a pit to take soil samples for a road project. But he was overcome by gases and died. Well, the main types of gases that we're able to measure uh, very easily uh, are hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. Both can kill in high concentrations. But the places people visit in the park really aren't a problem. It's not coming out of one focused area. It's coming out of a huge, broad area. And this is one of the reasons that it's not quite as hazardous as it would be if you took all of that gas and put it into one, one place. That would be quite hazardous. So visiting your favorite thermal places in the park is still likely to be pretty safe. After all, no tourist has ever had a fatal encounter with gases in Yellowstone. Still breathing in Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.